How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, I'm going to show two examples of Mercury being in full effect. But before I do that, you already see the thumbnail, but I choose to read it for a reason. <clears throat> Ignore the dates, because I will tell y'all when retrograde in. Um, it's much longer than that. But I want to um, point something out that the enemy um, will do to keep us in a state of fear. Some of the things that they say in here is true, and I feel like some is not. Well, it says here, get ready as Mercury goes into retrograde. Arguments will flare up for no reason and misunderstandings will occur. Electronical equipment will break will break and go, go crazy. Your mind will feel a little cloudy. Things will go missing. You will have trouble sleeping. Dreams will be weird and nightmarish. All sorts of bizarre things will happen. Keep a tiger's eye stone on, on, wait a minute, on your, on you, on you for protection. That kind of threw me off a little bit, excuse me. So the way that I approach, I, the way that I approach retrograde without fear, but with full respect, it's all about slowing down and paying attention to to your surroundings. I often talk about take care of your immediate situation. I cannot emphasize enough to the royal family. The routine that you have, the people that go to school and go to work, leave at least, again, at least 45 minutes earlier. You will see car accidents. You will see them and things will be have a tendency to be to the extreme. There's always car accidents, but it seems to be to extremes. Um, there will be power outages. And like I said, during a retrograde, I will be showing examples of how <coughs> intense retrograde truly is. So I'm just gonna show two examples. And, um, Power restored in Midville by late evening after morning um, outage effect affecting 7,000. And you know they always undercount stuff in the news because they don't want to put people in um, fear. So let's just listen to this video. Now an update at this noon hour. Police have a hit and run driver responsible for causing a fire and a massive power outage in Midvale this morning. is now sitting behind bars for suspicion of DUI. Unified police say 22-year-old Preston Reed has been booked into the Salt Lake County Jail. News specialist Felicia Martinez joins us live in Midvale with the latest on this investigation. Felicia. Yeah, that's right. So they still have quite a few crews out here trying to restore power. But this all started on the other side of I-15 when a car plowed into another vehicle that then hit a power pole, caused these power lines to come down, and then blew a transformer. The whole street was on fire all the way down, about halfway down that, that property line. And I then I looked out the front window and I saw all these power cords down and the front on fire. And that empty lot next to me was on fire, too. Basically, it was a nightmare happening right outside Kevin Lassig's Midville home. Now, he quickly called 911 and self-evacuated with his wife and dog. Unified Police Department says it all happened just before 6 this morning when 22-year-old Preston Reed ran a stop sign in his white SUV while going southbound on Allen Street. He then crashed into a car at 80th South, causing it to plow into a power pole. That crash then started just a chain reaction where the transformer blew, caused power lines to fall, started a fire, and then took out power to over 4,000 Midvale residents. Police say that Ray Reed then took off. Two UPD officers located him on 8200 South and 7th West and took him into custody. They processed him for, as a DUI and have since booked him into the Salt Lake County Jail. 
Arita is now facing DUI and hit and run charges. And police say it appears to be alcohol related. He was first looked at by paramedics here, paramedics here on scene before being uh, taken to jail. The other five occupants in the car that was struck, they're all okay, but one person did complain of back pain. Now, just to make matters worse, there was also some flooding under the bridge here. Uh, of course, they're still trying to restore power at this hour. It was supposed to be by noon, but uh, at this point, they're still working on that. Reporting live in Midvale, I'm Felicia Martinez for KSL 5 News. Still quite the scene to clean. So, my royal family, you hear how extreme in nature that was? That was extreme in nature. Not only was the power knocked out, how it was knocked out. Listen to the language. Go back and listen to the language. It was multiple things going on. Like I said, throughout America, we have this stuff, but these things intensify. And then she even mentioned a flood back there. You know, different things that is multiple things going on. You see what I'm saying, my royal family? So I know somebody might pop up and say, well, what's the big deal? They always got power outages. They always have accidents. But that one was extreme in nature, retrograde in full effect. And plus, this person did not use good judgment driving drunk. That's extreme in nature too, and that is not respecting retrograde, making those type of decisions because retrograde can work in your favor when you um, respect it. But this person, nine times out of 10, a lot of people don't know about retrograde, but all of us is being affected by this planet. And since M planet Mercury is the closest to us, we feel the magnetic forces. All you got to do is slow down, use good judgment. You want to drink? Sit your ass at home and get your drunk on. But don't put people in jeopardy because you think you can hold your liquor. So, my royal family, let's continue on. One more video. So, four killed in crash involving two motorcycles and what's that? Mo Dusky? And I know I'm jacking it up. Canyon area. So, check this out. And that's right, we're learning that one male and one female were on each of the motorcycles at the time of the collision. They died on impact and were pronounced dead at the scene. Now, I'm learning from CHP this morning that the two motorcycles involved, one was a Harley Davidson carrying one 40-year-old and one 35-year-old, and the other was a Honda motorcycle, and that was carrying two 60-year-olds. Again, all four dead this morning. We don't know their names. We're learning uh, more information again in the next couple of hours. But we did hear from CHP about how the accident didn't happen. Listen. A motorcycle going northbound on San Diego Canyon. He was trying to overtake another vehicle that was going northbound. In doing so, he went onto oncoming traffic on the opposite side and collided with another motorcycle that was going southbound. You're looking at aerial shots of the scene now. The crash was reported in the Majesca Canyon area. This is off Majesca Canyon Road and Santiago Canyon Road. Now you see the crew trying to clean up what was left of the motorcycles. One CHP officer described the accident as the worst he has ever seen. This happened at around 4.30 p.m. last night. Now Santiago Canyon Road was closed in both directions at Hicks Road. This was for a few hours while officers investigated. The road is now open on this Monday morning. And it appears that the motorcycle that caused this accident was speeding at the time of the collision. That is the very latest here in Santa Ana. I'm Megan Tellis. Back to you in Hollywood. Okay. Let me take that uh, down. Good morning to you, Jess. This has become a pretty high-profile crime. The LAPD. So, again, if you paid attention to language, the CHP said this was one of the worst. This is what people will say. Um, during, around doing retrograde because it is extreme in nature. See, the CHP, they have to go out there and deal with that. They see this stuff all day. And they was like, whoa, that was one of the worst. Or they'll say words like enormous. Or they would be like, damn, that accident was bizarre. See, I would say, wow, that's bizarre in nature. You know, there's certain things that we expect to see 
believe it or not, when things are tragic. And, you know, that, you know, we have the norm, and right now we're dealing with the extreme. And again, another person did not use good judgment, did things in extreme, in nature, speeding on a canyon, and multiple people were killed. So, like I said before, I will continue my royal family while we are in the retrograde phase to point it out. And the ultimate goal, I'm not trying to put fear in the royal family. It's all about respecting the planets, all of the planets and the very planet that we live on and being mindful again um, about our immediate situation and stuff. So my royal family, render your voice with your beautiful divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, Ashe.